you will be creating a landscape that uses one point perspective to show depth and distance in an artwork. One point perspective is a technique that artists use to make a flat two dimensional drawing or painting look like it goes back into the distance. Notice the railroad tracks, the telephone poles, and the fence. Notice how they're large and they get smaller as they go back into the distance and meet at that one point on the horizon line? Well, that is one point perspective. One of the things you learned about in second and third grade is foreground, middle ground, and background space in an artwork. Artists use different techniques to show foreground, middle ground, and background in an artwork, and by using these techniques, it helps show depth and distance. You are going to be using some of these techniques in this artwork as well. In the foreground, your images are larger, darker, and have more details and textures. The images in the background are smaller, lighter, and have very little, if any, details and texture. And in the middle, well, it's all in the middle. Now let's get started. Step one, you're going to draw a horizon line towards the top of your page. On the horizon line, put a dot. That will be your vanishing point. Then you're going to draw a road or a stream or a river or a railroad tracks by starting with two lines at the bottom of the page and drawing them to meet at that point. And then you're going to choose one item to draw three times next to your road. You're going to draw a large item in the foreground a medium-sized item in the middle ground, and a small item in the background. To finish your one-point perspective landscape, you're going to want to add other elements to this landscape. Maybe some mountains in the background, or maybe a sun or a moon or clouds. Maybe you are drawing a road and you want some buildings or some cars. Maybe you want some people or animals or grass. You're going to add those things to make your artwork look complete. Then you're going to add the details, the texture and color or shading. Remember, in the foreground, your color, your details and your texture should be darker, bolder and bigger. And in the background, it should be lighter and less details, if any at all. Once you're finished and happy with your landscape, take a picture of it and upload it to your assignment. Here are some other one-point perspective landscapes that you can use as inspiration. Have fun, be creative and unique with your one-point perspective landscape design.